back in November 2013. His decision to instead opt for closer economic ties with Russia paved the way for a series of mass demonstrations in Kiev and Western Ukraine. Russia suspects West interference in Ukraine. Moscow is now worried by the new Ukrainian government's plans to forge closer ties with the European Union. Strategically, Ukraine is too important an asset for Russians to let go of. It basically is a geopolitical battle between East and West over the fate of the former Soviet Republic. The US can be certain for its diverse position on Ukraine and Crimea. While on the other hand, it supported the coup in Ukraine when the majority overthrew the Yanukovych regime and sided with the EU, which is opposed to the Russian majority of Crimean Peninsula's decision to join Moscow. While hectic parties have been going on to defuse the crisis, it is a sad commentary that diplomacy seems restricted to a war of words. The recent phone conversation between the US and Russian foreign ministers failed to break the ice and both sides launched a virtual blame game. While the US State Department said Moscow's position offered no room for negotiation, the Russian ministry in a statement condemned the US financial foreign aid to what it calls the illegitimate regime in Kiev. It appears as if a Cold War chess match has been played out by both the countries. The US and Europe are hardly harmless, but their options are limited. There are also divisions within the European Union over sanctions against Russia. Will the countries within Europe like to precipitate an oil crunch? Europe is heavily dependent on Russia for its oil and gas needs. Russia is Europe's biggest supplier of cold oil. According to the European Commission figures, it is almost at 25%. The European Union is Russia's top trading partner and accounts for about 40% of all trade. That is why many European countries are less gun than the US about sanctions against Russia. Moreover, the Western powers are averse to risk a military conflict with Moscow. US is concerned it needs the support of Moscow on several issues given the impending US withdrawal from Afghanistan, nuclear talks with Iran and attempts to broker peace in Syria and Palestine. Therefore, it is in the interest of both countries to scale down from their stated positions and reach a political solution through dialogue and negotiations on the basis of a respect for international law and the principles of international relations. You were listening to today's commentary with Russia risk over Crimea referendum decision to provide a gas canal journalist read by Kosha Kloy. This is the General Overseas Service of All India Radio. It's time for our program on film music. Easy